410A refrigerant isn't going away. Hey guys, I want to do this video because there is a boatload of misinformation out there and I'm hoping to get the record straight. So if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, you are better informed. There's a lot of websites out there right now that are completely wrong on this topic and I'm gonna get it all straight right now. First of all, 410A is not going away yet, okay? It's not going away yet is the point. During the making of this video, we are switching on a new efficiency standard set by the Department of Energy and so by the end of this year, so this video is being made in 2022 and the Department of Energy has said, hey, by the end of this year, depending on what part of the country you're in, efficiency standards are going up. We're gonna start seeing systems with SEER 2 ratings, not SEER ratings, and that is going to an effect at the end of this year. So because of that, I think people have gotten misinformed on the refrigerant issue, and so that's why I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. So let me go ahead and set the record straight for you if you are confused, I've even been confused at times, and hopefully this will help you in making a decision if you are holding out or deciding to pull the trigger on a new heating and air system. So again, 410A is not going away yet. And so what I mean by that is just a couple years ago, the AIM Act was passed. AIM stands for American Innovation and Manufacturing Act. And so it was enacted by Congress, and they've said, look, over the next span of time, we're doing away with 410A. In our country, 410A systems are going away. And of course, there's lots of rumblings of how that's gonna look as far as new refrigerants, who's gonna be making what, who's selling what, who has proprietary, who owns which refrigerants and so on. And because of that, certain brands are gonna do this and that. So that's not what this video is about. I've done other videos on that topic, but I wanted to set the record straight. 410A refrigerant is not going away at the end of this year. That's what everyone is saying. I've even had people comment on my videos. I did a video where I said, look, you got SEER systems here, you got SEER 2 systems coming out. When there's no upgrade, when there's no difference in the materials, if it's the same amount of metal and the same amount of refrigerant, just a new rating on it, a new SEER 2 rating on it, why is there a price increase was the whole point of the video and I've got people commenting on the video saying, oh, well, it's because of the new refrigerants, dummy. You don't, you just don't know. No, you don't know. The new refrigerants are not being put in these new CR2 systems yet, okay? I keep saying yet because there is no set date yet. There's no date saying this is the day that this manufacturer is done selling 410A equipment, and so the very next day is the day that you're only gonna be able to buy R454B or R32 equipment. There's no one that has said that, at least to my knowledge. Now, you may hear differently. There may be a manufacturer out there that has come out and said, yep, on this date, we're making the transition. You ain't gonna be able to buy the 410A equipment from us after this date. And if that has happened, I would even argue that that date will probably change. If you do know something I don't on that, then I would dare argue that after this video is made and after you have made that argument, I would dare say that will be not accurate. Now, I will say if you are commenting on this video after it was made and that has changed, then great, please share that. If one of the manufacturers has come out and said, this is the date, you, you won't be able to buy the 410A after today, then great, please share that. We would love to hear that and I'll probably do more videos on that. But again, all this misinformation, in fact, I found a handful of websites that are completely inaccurate. They uh, literally say in their little blog that someone wrote, probably someone that is trying to push SEO or whatever reason they wrote the blog post and they're saying, yep, you know, 2023, it's all getting transitioned over. You're gonna to have to buy the new refrigerant equipment starting on this date, starting next year. And right now I'm being told by most of the big manufacturers that I have contacts at, they're saying there's not a date that's been set. And the reason is we don't think if we even set a date that it'll be accurate. This is gonna be a phasing thing. I did a video on the AIM Act, but the AIM Act is a phasing period. They said by the end of 2022, we're gonna see a 10% decrease 
in production of 410A refrigerant. By the end of 2024, we're going to see a 40% decrease of 410A refrigerant and so on. As we get to 2029, 70% by the year 2034 and 80% and by the year 2036, they're saying an 85%. So I think as we go through the next decade, there will be actual dates that are set. They're gonna say, hey, here's our goal date and that date may change. So if this is playing a role in your decision-making, I've done other videos saying, look, right now, if you're in the market for a heating and air system during the making of this video, you probably shouldn't be worried about the new refrigerants coming out. You probably shouldn't be saying, man, I wish I'd have held out for two more months because then I would have bought the new systems with the new refrigerant. But I still got to buy this 410A and it's getting more and more expensive. Again, during the making of this video, that should not be affecting your decision. Unfortunately, the stuff's just not coming out yet. We've already got some manufacturers who have put out some products with the new refrigerants, but they have not come out yet and said, this is the date. This is the day that you will not be able to buy 410A refrigerant. In fact, I would argue that we're probably still a decade and a half, if not two decades away from that being said by someone. Here's the thing, we're just a few short years later, it was just 2016 that I could still buy R22 equipment. Now it didn't have R22 in it, it was an R22 system that was dry charged with nitrogen and you may see that with 410A over the next couple decades, you may see a point where there's still putting out the equipment that they're used to putting out, it might be dry charged, they're not putting the R410 in it. At the end of this year, again, not at the end of 2022, you are not going to see everything get switched over, that 410A is gone. That's not accurate. Whoever is saying that to you is not informed correctly, and they can argue with me if they want. Just a quick, short Google search on reputable websites, not someone's blog, some heating and air companies blog. If you go to the Department of Energy or any of the big manufacturers, if you find a blog on one of the big manufacturer sites, then those are going to be a little more accurate. That they're going to say, yep, by the end of 2022, there's the new efficiency standards, but you are not seeing the end of 410A. It's not going to just disappear at the end of this year. It's, it's not going to happen. And that is inaccurate when people are saying that. So hopefully that clears things up for you. Uh, if you're in the market for a heating and air system and you're looking around on different websites and they're all saying something differently, you people that are commenting on my videos saying that I don't know what I'm talking about, that the reason there's price increases is because of the new refrigerants. The new refrigerants aren't even in this new equipment, so stop it. You just stop it. That's what my old boss used to say. Just stop it, Josh. Just stop it. So you just need to stop it with that stuff. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Comment down below if you do have a date or something to add to this. Love to hear it. Appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.